Right. Um, that was a very interesting conversation last night. Um, I'm going to use that as evidence. Um, that, that video that I posted last night. Um, the landlady has made herself look a bit silly. Well, she'd already done that. Um, she doesn't need to try hard. Um, um, that, this is the beauty of having a lifetime experience of dealing with narcissists. You just know what they're going to say before. You know, you, you sense the spirit, the... Is it called the, it's the Jezebel spirit, is it? I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, you, you just sense it. You just, you, but anyway, no, um, she's trying her best to, def to, to deflect. And, she, well, you heard for yourself in the video, she's saying, she's admitting that, She's done this to lots of people. <laughs> She's admitting it. She's 85. Of course she has. Um, for me, the depressing, upsetting, sad thing is that my eldest sister is going to be like her when she's 85. She's a landlady. She's a tyrant. She's a narcissist. She's a bully. People are scared of my eldest sister. That's why when I slept rough, suicidal on the edge of our world famous suicide spot, on the edge of the cliff, I, I know where I'm going when I die. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Um, Yeshua, Yeshua, the Redeemer, the, the Saviour. But, you know, that it's like... It's like you've got a child in a playground with stones and they're throwing them and it doesn't matter what they say. They can't get a reaction. They can't get the reaction that they want. Um, they're defeated. And um, all we can do is pray for them uh, and laugh. And we have to because we have to look after our health. Um, but yeah, no, she was, it, it, it's evidence that that phone call is, uh, is ground evidence because I'm just about to send her a text message to let her know. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter either way, whether I let her know or not, I've got the evidence that I need, but she's admitted that. As you can hear in, in the phone call, she's saying, I don't want your rent money. I want you to keep that for yourself and to find somewhere, you know. So she's trying to play the saviour, you know, obviously. Um, but, but this, when I go to court, I will use that video because the whole reason why she's getting, she's, discriminating me because she doesn't like me because well I don't know I can't say what's going on in her mind she just doesn't like me she doesn't want me here um which is funny because after that conversation that I uploaded to YouTube she tried to deflect by sending me a text message it's a typical narcissist tactic it's boring it's so boring. It's it's just so... It's such old hat. Oh, you think everyone's against you. So I sent her a text message saying, Victoria, you know, don't, don't send me a text message trying to deflect your criminal um, behaviour and guilt. You know... <laughs> It's not going to work, you know. 
Ah, uh, but anyway, I find it amusing. I just, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Bring it on. Um, so yeah. Um, but that 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 video conversation last night that I uploaded to YouTube that is ground evidence to take to court because the whole reason why she wants to take me to court and get me out of here is because I haven't paid the rent money so um, I'm just about to send her a text message because I'm going to speak to this floating support worker tomorrow because obviously I'm in this position because of the council because of the legal aid law firm that I've reported I've got to wait six weeks for an investigator to investigate what they did and you know so the legal aid law firm that exploited me I mean just go on you just go on trust a pilot and see like there's a, an autistic woman who has put up a poor review about the same le law firm that I have reported and um, she's saying what I'm saying about this landlady, a breach of my rights under the Equality Act. But v Victoria is so ignorant. She, she, it's, it's really quite funny. She's actually saying in the conversation, she's saying, <laughs> is this legal ombudsman man helping you? I said, it's the legal ombudsman. It's not a man. It's the legal ombudsman. It, it's the ombudsman is not a man. In the same way, it's it's not, you don't get a legal ombudswoman. It's not an e legal e ombudsman. It's not a legal ombudswoman. It's the legal ombudsman. <laughs> is this man helping you? This legal ombudsman I said no. It's it's a it's a complaints procedure, and yet she's she's trying to make me look like I'm stupid. Be well, I'm not saying she's trying to make me look stupid, but when she said to me, she's patronising me, saying, "Oh, it's very easy to find out how your father died. You just go on the government website." Oh, yeah. Really that easy, is it, Victoria? I mean, this is this is why society is a mess. This is why we've got everybody walking around in their own head of darkness. Every human being has got their own... Because of this just... I mean, it's this kind of attitude. The whole reason why I was in supported accommodation was to get support we've got you go on the sdr living website we have staff trained 24 7 to deal with complex needs oh but they can't even deal with bereavement at a basic level no they had to get the managing director yes mark I've got you on camera, the managing director, locking me out of my brand new flat of four months and the care coordinator was sacked. Yes, so was the night porter who turned up to work drunk after a quarter of a century. Petition ignored. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're dealing with. That's the kind of uh, bollocks, as Victoria liked to deem, coin the phrase bollocks. The English language is beautiful at times like this. Because that was the only time that Victoria, in her 85 years on this earth, had told the truth that the social services are full of bollocks. Yes, so is Victoria. <laughs> so I'm about to send this text message to Victoria. This is what I'm writing. Because interestingly, 
when she assaulted me, when she flew over here from Malta and assaulted me on the 11th of March, and I've got the letter to Sussex Police to prove this, well, not to prove that she assaulted me, I mean, I'm hoping and praying that Victoria and Mr Troublemaker and or her son, who knows about my YouTube videos because of the Milestone Group, I recorded the Milestone Group being abusive as well. It's on my YouTube channel, um, as well as the criminal offence uh, or attempted criminal offence. And um, hope I'm hoping and praying that they recorded the interaction between me and Victoria and the distress, the alarm and distress that she's caused, um, because you will have heard me say, could you take your hand off me because you are assaulting me? And then you'd hear her say, close that door or I'll switch the heating off. Because after my conversation with her last night, rather mysteriously, I say mysteriously, she found it odd, as I do. It could, there could be a reasonable explanation for it, but there was no hot water in the hot taps in the kitchen and the bathroom and uh, the, the shower was boiling hot but uh, the taps were and the heating funnily enough didn't come on last night and the thermostat was turned up to 25 so um, that was odd um, the heating should be coming on, on in half an hour so I'm going to wait to test that she hasn't been up to any tomfoolery. Um, but I'm about to send this text message to her. Hello, Victoria. I just thought I should let you know that I record, I video recorded our conversation, which is on YouTube, my last video. You really need to make up your mind what it is what it is that you want you are taking this to court because I haven't paid rent and yet you said that you don't want my rent rent money you also admitted you contributed to my stress which she said in the conversation which is on YouTube from last night I'm still going to get this support worker to do what should have been done and to set up a DHP, which is a discretionary housing payment and universal credit so that I can pay, pay you what I owe you. I do want to go to court. Contrary to your peculiar beliefs, wait for it, This I have to get this off my chest. I have never worked so hard. Actually, I'm going to put that in capitals. I like to emphasise. That's why all my video descriptions are always in capitals. Because I like to emphasise. It's not just PTSD. I've never worked so hard in my life doing other people's jobs since being on severe disability. But when I did care work over two decades ago, because when I did care work, I, my late mother called in sick for me. She didn't realise I'd taken an overdose of antidepressants. There are a lot of things people will never, ever, ever know unless I disclose it, as I am now on my YouTube channel. They just make up their own minds about things because they live in their own bubbles, in their own little fantasy worlds. Oh, is Bryony being so, uh, attention seeking again? No, it's not because even my mother to my mother would be eighty six. She'd be a year older than this vile landlady, and even my mother did not realise that I had taken an overdose of antidepressants. But my mother died of a rare cancer because of, as I said, my mother went through generational curses trauma in her life and I went through trauma and I'm a survivor so this is what I'm saying to this woman when I did care work over two decades ago life was much easier 
despite being bullied by a matron similar to you. It made me very ill, as have you. Kind regards, Bryony. I'm very, really, I'm really pleased with how well I've handled this. Because, let me just send it. I've just sent the text to the landlady. I handled it really well because... You know, people just don't survive what I've survived. I was saying to my partner last night, you know, thousands of people end their lives. I would be very interested to know the, you know, the real ins and outs of... This, this landlady told me that she'd lost a niece to suicide. And... Whilst it's not some... Well, it doesn't matter any more. Um, she... What I say because... Because of what she's done to me. So, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, but... Because it's a sensitive issue. But so uh, she said it was something to do with... Um, having a miscarriage. But... Which is awful. For, you know... And I genuinely feel sorry for her niece that that she went through her that her late niece took her own life and went through that. But because of how Victoria has treated me, it does make me question if because narcissistic abuse, if she can contribute to because I am technically her client in a way, I'm her tenant. Um, a lot of landlords and landladies, this is their income. You know, this is like, you know, so I, I'm kind of like, I'm like an employee, not a client. Yeah, no, I'm like a client. I'm like a client, sorry. Yeah. Um, but if it, so, if she could, but you know, client, whatever, uh, a tenant, you know, if you can treat a tenant like this and make them feel suicidal, it makes you question, because this is what narcissists. I, I've, I've been on the receiving end of every kind of narcissistic abuse. You know, um, this is why people have said to me, ever since I was a child, one day you'll be helping other people. You'll be helping. This is what people said to me. You'll be helping other people. You'll be helping other people's children. You'll be helping. I mean, you look at the... But I am barely functioning on a... I've had to switch the light off because it's hurting my head. I'm not getting daylight and vitamin D. So I've had to switch. That's why this video is very dim. Um, because I, my head is hurting, I'm not functioning, I'm not sleep. I'm suffering with insomnia, you know, narcissistic abuse is what killed my mother, that is why a social worker landlord said to me, you might want to check you haven't inherited your mother's cancer, and the other creepy thing that this creep cretin Andy said to me, he said, you know too much and that's when I and I didn't know any of the stuff that I now know <laughs> but that was you know but there, there, there's a lot of these people in Eastbourne unfortunately it is one of those towns um yeah um but anyway you know it is one of those towns um, I'm just looking for the... You know, I'm not... So she's dealing with the... Yeah, the, the hot water is back in the taps. So... But I noticed that Mr Troublemaker um, 
obviously I'm ignoring the other tenants as best as I can, but I, I noticed he went and looked at the boiler. So I think he's, you know, he's basically in charge of this house because they're in cahoots. She and the, the troublemaker. But it's, um, I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible that, it's not incredible it's not that's the way it is I've, I answer my own questions I ask the, I answer the questions that I keep asking I, I, I go mad you know that's that's the if that's what narcissistic abuse does it's gaslighting it's trying to drive your victim to insanity and and I've got the text message where Victoria is saying, don't let it gnaw away at your sanity. That's what. That's why she's a dangerous woman. That's why I put in the title of my last video, she's a dangerous woman. Very dangerous, extremely dangerous. It's like what my partner said, just because a house is quiet, it doesn't mean peaceful. And Adrian, from my partner's... Um, um, letting agent he said that's a very good phrase um quiet does not mean peaceful no in the same way that this landlady is extremely dangerous the fact that she worked as a, a matron narcissists are drawn to working in hospitals churches Anywhere where there's vulnerable people, that is where they're drawn. To, they're just drawn in like flies to a cow's ass. And you can feel, you can feel their presence when they're listening in. And I knew something wasn't right as soon as I moved into this mad, quiet house. I knew it because she was like, the things that she was saying to me, she was complimenting me, she was thanking me, she was wanting to help me write a book. And at the same time, she said, you know what would be good for you? This is how, an, this is how passive aggressive covert narcissists speak. Do you know what would be good for you? No, please tell me, I thought to myself. But this is when I thought she was a nice lady, but I was being discerning at the same time. She said, you should be in a house where people are at work all, all day. Because this old man who had nothing better to do was making up child stories it's like they become more like children the older they get. And I know because I did care. I, I, I cared for and nursed the elderly and they do become like little children the older they get. He was making up stories. He was jealous because I was organising myself in the kitchen. I was labelling things. Oh, but that shouldn't. Oh, the... Uh, 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 the maintenance man, this young man, said to me that he was telling Victoria, the landlady, he was quitting because he had him wrapped around his little finger. And, and then the landlady blamed his mental breakdown on me. <laughs> I didn't realise what, what I had moved into, but... This is what I find so amusing. You move into a quiet house, you think, oh, praise Yahweh, I've finally got the peace that I need. But I can't relax for just five minutes because behind the scenes, there's this stuff going on. And you just think to yourself, okay, well, let it happen. Don't engage with it. Don't become embroiled in other people's um tenant disputes and i and i and there we are it, i let it play out so this is going to be really interesting because if i do go to court which obviously it's 
more than likely and she's you know I'm taking this seriously don't worry Victoria what are you doing your end are you making sure that you're yes Victoria I am uh, I'm trying not to inherit my late mother's cancer. Thank you very much, Victoria. <laughs> my late mother would be a year older than you. She'd be 86. She died of a rare cancer. And it was a social worker landlord who said to me, you might want to check you haven't inherited your mother's cancer. At this rate, Victoria, do you want to go down on record as being the last person? to push me in that direction whatever but the thing is Victoria a lot of people are now going to know about Alice Victoria Scott that's why your son was practically in tears when he told me that the milestone group told him about my youtube channel yes it's all about money but it's not about money but it is, but it isn't. Woman, make up your mind. That's how you spoke to me. Woman, make up your mind. Because I've got you recorded now saying that you don't want my rent money, but that's why you're taking me to court. I, I just want you to be happy and in a place where you feel st -d 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit. You lost a niece to suicide and now you call paramedics wasting their precious time pretending to be concerned about me. That's why I said to you, do not call the social services. Do not call the paramedics. Don't waste my time or their time because you said they're full of bollocks and so are you, Victoria. I do not want to end up like my late mother in a hospice because of someone like you. Okay? All right. I've worked so hard doing other people's jobs to get where I am just to survive. Jeff Mealing, who is part of this massive truthers movement, was encouraging me on Facebook because I'm going to join him last month I a few weeks ago I didn't make it up to London to speak out on on the streets I'm going to I'm determined that I'm going to make it this time and you've just added to my story the very story that you want to help me publish and all that bollocks and now you're trying to bully me out of here you tried to illegally evict me you are mocking a, a national charity shelter you victoria at you alice victoria scott and remy the managing director of the milestone group have mocked a national charity shelter and the legal notice you're no better than this idiot downstairs that's meant to be a primary school teacher that I have recorded bullying me behaving like a child herself pretending that she didn't have a problem with me saying I don't know the law that notice from shelter warned you and I warned you it's up to two years in prison for your attempted criminal offence plus damages and you told me to sue you when you assaulted me but you don't want vulnerable people in here anyone can be vulnerable in this day and age millionaires end up sleeping rough millionaires end up as tramps taking their own lives but if you can sleep at night yeah just don't waste your time I'm just 
it, it, it's not having an effect on me. I'm just, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. There's nothing you can say. I'm loving it. You've made me feel so much better about myself because you're trying to project your insecurities onto me and it won't work. Oh, you know, all those years of suffering as a child in, in here, the pain and the bullying, it was not in vain. It was to prepare me for this. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. So, um um yeah sending me a text message saying what was it you think everyone's against you what was it uh, do, 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 do. everyone is conspiring against you 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 must take control of your situation as you said there is little help everyone is conspiring against you that text message should be um, part of an example of a training program for people like me in how to deal with narcissists because that is textbook, that is. Yeah, anyway, there we go. Uh, you know, I could, you know, I don't want to sound like a parrot, but, um, you know, this is, I hope and pray that there will be people out there who are not idiots, not the idiots from the police abusing powers, not them. I'm talking about people out there who really are genuinely struggling and suffering and need um, advice. Um, I hope that this will be a benefit to them. Um, shalom, shalom, Yahweh, over and out. And by the way, no, uh, I'm not a, I know I've already said this in the email, but I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> oh, what did I say to Darren last night? I was laughing about something, I can't remember what it was, um... But it made me laugh. Um, oh, I was not the joke about the ombudsman. Um, anyway, um, I'll just make another another little joke. Um, I know this is very cheeky of me. I'm going to say it anyway. Um, the tenant downstairs uh, when. And I shouldn't say this, but when I made that joke about the bull ring, the ring through the nose and red flag, you know, getting a red flag, like in the cartoons, I know it's cruel, the matador thing, what they do to those poor bulls in Spain, but that's not the joke I'm making. The, jo the joke is about the tenant with the bullying me. Um, well, um, I forgot to say, um, maybe, maybe she goes into her primary school and says, hello children, I identify as a bull, a bull in a bull ring, <laughs> sorry, you know, all this nonsense about identifying and transgender, you know, oh, I identify as a cat and all that rubbish, anyway, there we go, um, but no, psychiatry is, um, oh yeah, I, I also wanted to mention that very, very, very important this, very important. Last night, me and my partner watched John O'Looney, who is a, um, a funeral director. I think he came out of Freemasonry, um, but there were... Uh, he was the one that I'm glad I've watched him now because this silly woman, Caroline Stevens, who's started off as being nice and then, you know, prayed for me and then threatened me, which is a typical covert narcissist demonic thing to do. Um, 
um, because we were talking about the hand gestures that he did because he did he's famously did the six 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 by accident when he did the quotation marks, but he admitted that he. I, I now I'm glad now glad that I've seen something really like oh my gosh an interview with him with Mark Atwood, it's on Rumble it's not on YouTube. I, you know YouTube won't allow it so, I suggest you go and have a look at the Rumble video. This man is amazing. Uh, he actually went to Thames Valley Police, the same Thames Valley Police that I reported that stupid troll to, the one that's known to Thames Valley Police to do with Jeanette Archer, Helen Janes, was it, who was leaving me vile voice messages and stuff. I don't know if she's part of the 77 Brigade or what, but who cares? Um, just, you know, there are a lot of idiots out there, but, um, this John O'Looney is amazing. He reported the mass murders of people's loved ones because you just got to watch the video for yourself because the people who took the, the, the genocidal jibby jabbies, um, he had shown what was extracted in the veins of these people that were blocking their arteries, something to do with uh, these these things look like something from Alien or, or Calamari, as he described it, these horrible white things. And this is a mass genocide. And, yeah, you just think of all those doctors. Anyway, you just got to listen to it for yourself. But... He's got the evidence, uh, as you can imagine, he's, you know, everything is owned, everything is owned by these Satanists, these Luciferians, everything is controlled, the, what was it, the Institute of, 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 um, coroners, um, you know, it's everything is everything is controlled everything is covered up and anything that's to do with the government um you know these people have sold their souls these doctors you know as mark atwood and john o'looney said how can these people these doctors sleep at, at night how can they sleep at night But we're all going to meet me and make her. As I said to my partner last night, we're all, he says the same thing. He took me to the name of Yahweh. We're all going to face that final ju judgment. We're all going to have to give a, an account of our lives. We'll all be naked at the th great white throne of judgment. Everything that we say, every word that we speak, every action, we're going to have to give an account of. We're going to have to, at the end of our lives, give an account for every spoken word. That's why my partner, my partner doesn't even like me saying the word fart. You know, even if it's, you know, a physical action that you, that you can't help, you know. It, <laughs> you know, but yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> it's, you know. But you've really got to, I urge you to watch John O'Looney because they're dropping like flies. You know, these young, healthy, fit people. It's a mass genocide. It's murder. Murder of your loved, loved ones. Anyway, um, but my partner said to me, you know, he said to me, because his his parents have taken the what's it, his sister has taken it. He can't, his sister is a year younger than me. He can't talk to his sister. I, I, I'm in pain because I was sleeping rough. I, 
I was I was had a mental breakdown. I'd never had the help and support. There was just mass insanity all around me in the town, the council, the homelessness. That's everything that's been created. Everything. That's why I could see through it all because I was already dealing with corruption and tyranny, and then all of a sudden they're wearing these mouth gags, and you're thinking, why? breathe man breathe you know I need fresh air I'm craving fresh air and I've now got these socially engineered uh mind controlled robots that are now putting mouth masks on that's why I could see through the bullshit I mean there was a time when maybe uh in a parallel universe I could have I would have walked around with a mouth mask on but I'm not programmed I'm not and that's why the establishment slandered me in the Herald for being suicidal on Beachy Head I cannot wait to join people the campaigners on the streets I am breaking free this has been a long time coming praise Yahweh so uh, a big shout out to those people. Yahweh bless you. Uh, Yahweh bless John O'Looney. You know, his surname should be John O'Genius. Sorry, I know. The Freemasons sometimes use people's surnames to take the what's it out of, you know, the... Um, the bottom feeders, you know, they, they we're we're the um, profane, the people cutting the grass, culling us. We're the nothing people to them. So they, but I'm just being humorous about John O'Looney's surname. I mean, the paralegal that I've reported to the uh, legal ombudsman, I made a dark joke. I know I shouldn't have done, but that horse had bolted I said to her your surname is Swindles Jemima I said in the email I said you know your surname is apt even though it's spelt differently to Swindle as in you know you know the word Swindle but um and I'm not saying that she's a Freemason but you know I'm just I'm just saying that sometimes the politicians and the elite have been known to deliberately use surnames to mock the masses because that's what they do. That is part of Freemasonry is putting the truth out there whilst, you know, openly mocking the... the, the What are the words they use to describe us, the uh, the people at the bottom of the pyramid? There are so many words they use. But anyway, there we go. Uh, I just thought I'd um, put that out there. So this is going to be really interesting. Um, see where it all goes, really, yeah. Over and out. Your way, Shalom.